Ahoy there, I'm Tiny Pirate and welcome back to Colony Survival. Before I get started with the episode, I've got some good news. I've got a new Facebook page going. You're welcome to join it. I'll have a few interesting little uh, highlight videos on there and a few pictures and bits and bobs. Link is in the description and I hope I'll catch you over there. In today's episode, we're going to be expanding and improving upon our little basic fortress, getting the farming going and setting up proper defenses. I did some tidying up basically, so I want to kind of explain it. First of all, I've tidied up and removed the tower here because it was looking kind of ugly. I like the idea of the wood roof and to make this more like a workshop. So I've kind of evened it up a little bit, uh, made it a touch bigger inside. I put an archer now on each corner, which seems to be sufficient to keep the bad guys out. And there's a dude in here as well to keep them out of the bedroom because uh, they can be problematic if they get in. I've got a smelter running and I've got a baker here and uh, let me just check the inventory. So we have a fair bit of bread. It's not totally amazing, but I don't know. It'll do for now. It's not It's not too bad. Might be a bit close on food, but that's okay. Got a bunch of beds down, which is good. Got a bunch of stone. For, that's for the next project. So this episode, we're going to get ourselves a curtain wall up of some kind around the space and isolate some of it from the from the outside world. Now he's 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 complaining because he's short on seeds. Basically everything that is a seed is currently being planted in the ground here and we just need to wait for these crops to grow. Likewise this guy's kind of upset and he, so he is as well which is a bit of a shame. And down here I've done a little bit of work. I have made a little sort of mine entrance, put up some lights and uh, dug out a bit more space so we have a ton of stones. I've got a couple of guys mining here. One guy's mining coal, the other one iron and that is so we can have like an umpteen ton of uh, iron ingots. I've got gypsum ore as well and that's going along very nicely. Now you may have noticed I've got one unemployed and uh, I'm going to do something with that chap right away and that is to turn him into a forester because cutting down our own wood gets a bit boring and tiresome and why would we do that when we could have a peasant do it for us? So command tool forester I've also figured out why I was having trouble with laying out these 10 by 10s. It's because I was uh, right clicking and holding it and it really hates it. It really hates doing that. I don't know why. So there you go. Right click and let go. And now we've got forest going up. Now it's probably a good idea, I think, to start thinking about what we're going to do for, uh, for a wall of some kind. So I thought, um, like this whole complex, this could have quite a bit of space. And I'm thinking possibly, I'm just thinking, if I ran a wall right around this part here, or I could, well, I think the second project would be to push back the edge of this hill and run a secondary wall. But for now, I'm thinking a wall that goes all the way around here, uh, and then to like a courtyard here with like an entrance maybe, uh, something like that. So I want to kind of go like this. Oh, maybe not that high. And I might just make it, I might make it three thick just so I can get a decent castle wall feeling to it. But for now, I'm going to just build it like this. And in the, oh, hello tree, get rid of you. And there we go, good. One more. So I'm, if I do a sort of a castle, get out of here, a courtyard uh, around like this. I've got that distance blue mon or distance blue. I'm not sure it's that great. I thought it looked kind of good, but it starts to get a little annoying. Let me know if you don't like it. So this here would give us some space for some more buildings in the facility. I'll just go back like this. Oh, I'm already down to less stone. Okay, tree, you need to get out of the way. I don't want any zombies using you to get over. All right, tree, get out of it. Alright, wow, I got rid of it pretty good. So we'll come all the way in over here. Uh, how far out? Probably quite a far way out, I suspect. I'll work out entrances in due course, because we're just going to lay it out for now. One of the things I've kind of just decided is I need a bit of room out the front of this building. So it's probably time... I could drop down a little bit of, do I have, I've got leaves. I actually don't have much in the way of grass, which is a little annoying. So uh, that's all leaves templates. I don't have enough grass or oh, evening's coming. What I, what I might do is I'll just run it out to sort of 
here for now and then run it across and worry about the details of uh, expanding the territory in due course once I've done a bit more terraforming in the rest of the world. So this would mean that we could put uh, some kind of tower up here uh, with some kind of overhang on it. And we'll need to make sure we have an entrance in this vicinity so that the zombies don't get too uh, annoyed with us. That's okay, we can do that as well. For now, let's see if we've got enough stone to complete this part of it. I suspect we do. Uh, you should be able to. Cool, let's have a look. Oh, how are you guys doing on the old farm? Wow, we're getting a bit low on bread and wheat and what have you. The wheat is growing, so it's just a matter of being patient, I suspect. I think this is looking okay. I might go along and at least add the second floor to some of these spots, especially around the back where our guys don't have great visibility. The curtain wall is now complete and it's working quite well. So I actually did manage just, like literally just enough stone to go all the way around. I'd like to say that was good planning, but really it was just luck. And it seems to be working, working out very well indeed. As you can see, you've got quite a bit of room. Lots more zombies now. Look at that, that's going to be heaps of room. Going to be a bit difficult to add all the perimeter features I would like. Now this guy, where's he going? Oh, he got shot. Oh, <laughs> didn't quite make it over. So Dawn is just about coming. Take that one down. Got heaps of room to play with here. That's going to be brilliant. And best of all is a whole bunch of our food is now uh, made or ready to be made. So I can start hauling it up, which will help our own guys. And that will be... Uh, very good for making lots of food and getting the day started off right. We are looking a little bit low on food, if you ask me. The fields are all harvested, and unfortunately we are actually out of seeds. We got a metric ton of food, which is brilliant. So, unfortunately, they're just going to have to wait another day or two for all of their seeds to come in and everything to grow up nicely. Meanwhile, how's the forestry growing, chaps? Uh, the forest here is growing beautifully, which is very nice. So that's giving us quite a lot of wood. Let me have a look. That's the log template. 194. Wow, we've got a, mm, a fair bit of gold. Uh, I've actually told them not to make more than 10 ingots because I don't need it right now. But I think we need to sort that out and change that. So what I want to do is... Mm, I want to make a little shop or something over here. So I do want to knock... Now we're a little bit defend... Uh, we're not quite as defended as I would like. I think I need a bit more stone so I can build up some defenses, but what I would like to do is get going with possibly a mint, uh, which is going to be somewhere we can do some stuff with, and a shop. Uh, so the mint actually, iron ingots, planks, and gold ingots. Uh, we can do that now. That actually might be quite a good idea. Uh, and some, some planks. So a mint. Um, put that here. So I'm going to put that inside uh, over here and I need someone to... Oh, here we go. I can just use the, the, the banner tool. All right, put that about there. There seems to be sometimes an issue. Okay, uh, banner tool, recruit a colonist. Oh, not enough free breads. Okay, we can solve that now. Uh, we'll get two of them. How are we looking for beds? Uh, I think we'd... Oh, no, that looks a bit... No, that looks terrible. <laughs> Let's sort this out a bit. We'll have them at least uh, line up as we have done so far. Um, that will do. Uh, do we want any more? Three. That sounds like a good idea. And one, two, three. So now uh, we should be able to recruit colonists as we just did is very nice. They're going to make us a bunch of coins. Uh, and I'm going to just uh, up the number of ingots we can get to on here. 20 at a time seems good. So Mintera is going to go over there. We still have a shop to worry about. So I'll worry about that. I want to do it kind of out of logs and wood, I think. And I'm going to put it over here. But I want to cut a hole out of the wall first, just to make things look a little nicer. Um... Do we want a side entrance here, like that, so we can get in and out? And I think one, I don't know, out the back would be helpful as well. Yeah, that seems fine. I mean, this is going to kind of be sort of general quarters for all of our peasants. 
So with that in mind, why don't we just crack on and make a shop? So I'll put it over here near the edge of the edge of the thingy, me Bob. Um, do I have any coins yet for our shop? So it needs five gold coins. Oh, we've got two so far. Um, take out the side and make it a cute little shop. It's going to... Uh, I can't use the straw, which is a little disappointing. I'm going to put the shop item there. And I'm going to make a box for it. Um, here we go, box. Sit in the corner. I think I will switch it up. Can I get just some logs on the top half? Does that... Is that actually a... I don't know. That looks okay, I suppose. Actually, I might make the corners a bit different. That's going to be the counter. So, can't see, can't use straw, which is a little disappointing. But I can use these logs. Chuck them in the corners here. The counter needs to stay free. Uh, and I'll, maybe we'll make like a... Um, a little bit, yeah, a little bit of a wood roof like this. And while we wait for these coins to come in. Um, that looks okay. Oh, we're up to eight coins. Great. So I should now be able to make a shop. I need some stone. Oh, stone bricks. Okay. Put those away. Great. Shop. Put them there. Great. Um, there we go. That looks quite nice. I hope he stands on the right side. I'm not sure he will. I do also want to get a, uh, something on the roof. And what I think I will do is I might use the uh, grass template for that, or the, the leaves. We don't have enough grass. So I want to see what leaves look like for a kind of roof. Might be uh, the closest we can get to the uh, for thatch. Oh, all right, fine. Now, hopefully our guards do their job. I suspect they will. Let's come out of our shop now. Yep. Okay. Looking quite... I don't know, it looks quite nice. No signs or anything yet. I'm sure there will be in due course. And I wish I could make those straw into some kind of hay bales or thatch. That would be nice. Instead, we've got this little... Ah. I'm okay with that. That's not too, that's not too shabby at all. Now, we do have... Uh, the need to hire someone, so if I just, uh, where are we, banner tool, recruit a colonist, good, we'll have someone to come work in the shop tomorrow by the looks of it, which will be very fine indeed. Meanwhile, how are, are our archers doing? Oh, well, there is a lot more zombies kicking around. They seem to be keeping up, which is good news. Do we have enough arrows? Yes, there should be plenty. I think I want to grab a workbench as well. I'm going to put it inside for now, but eventually... Is he going to make it in? No. Eventually what I will do is arrange some kind of tradesman's hut. And this workbench is where I can set um, in a maximum. Uh, so how many mi minimum planks we want to aim for is 100. Planks needs log temper. Oh, I can use tiger. Fine. Uh, I want to have at least a couple of quivers around. I don't know, five? No, we'll just about well, five. Okay. At least 10 torches kicking around. Let's see, 10. Fine. At least a couple of bows kicking around. A couple of boxes kicking around. Uh, maybe that many beds. A plaster block for the modern look. All right. Well, let's have some plaster block. Right. If you can make it. Brilliant. Uh, don't need. Oh, at least 200 arrows. Yes. Uh, can I edit these? Yeah. Three of each of those don't need. Oh, linseed oil, fine. Fine. Okay, so that's definitely a job. Do we have the bids for it? We do. Which means recruit a colonist. Great, someone's going to come in here and go to sleep. If they don't die. Where are you going, pal? You're going the entirely... Oh, you're going to go the long way around. Fair enough. I don't think we're getting any problem with the zombies coming in. No, no problem at all. Nothing out the back either. Could do with some light out here, though. So let's put some torches up. One on each side there. I think the, the shop needs a couple of torches uh, over it. And maybe one inside it. 
Very fine. Oh, yeah, that looks okay. Actually, what it does need, silly me, I think it needs a little bit of a, uh, a top to the uh, thatch, doesn't it? So let's uh, do it like this. Okay, that. Let me check. Ah, oh, that looks quite adorable. <laughs> uh, I quite like that. Uh, okay, let's just take out these building planks we used to get up there. How are we looking? Very nice shop, and you're standing inside as well. Uh, what can we do here? Shopping limits? Um, no, where are we? Uh, don't have... Oh, uh, what do we? What can we look for? Flax seeds, 100. That's a great idea. I hope you do buy them. Do we have any flax seeds yet? I don't see any, but I wonder if we put out a, uh, put out a flax field, we might expect to see some uh, come in. How are they doing on normal seeds? Oh, we've got quite a bit of food, but seeds are still a problem. That's okay, some harvesting is going on, so they'll sort that out themselves. Uh, meanwhile, where are we? We want to flax farmer. Um, no, no, not there. Yeah, we'll do it from here, 10 by 10. Brilliant. And uh, we need a box of some kind, uh, just to stick in the corners and make things a bit more efficient. And recruit a colonist. Okay. Wow. This is a massive farm. I know you're short on seeds, pal. Can't do much about it right now. But I, oh, here's a flax farmer. Good. But I can go get a bunch more stone, because I think that would be very helpful to shoring up our defenses. So looking around at night, I'm just putting up a bit of extra wall. None of the flax went in because we didn't have enough coins to buy seeds yet. But boy, look at all of these zombies. There are, wow, there are lots of them. So I want to really get on with these walls. And one of the things I want to do, I think, first of all, is put up the corner towers that are going to, that are going to come with these walls because they will provide uh, the sort of thinning out of the herd at the back because I'm a bit worried the guys at the front will get overwhelmed. And since so many zombies uh, come at us from this direction, it seems to make sense to me uh, to thin out the herd a little bit. I mean, look, there's still so many of them. Die! Die, you fiendish... Well, that was a good shot. Fiendish zombie horde. Oh, God, they really are a horde. Look at them, they're absolutely everywhere. Darn, I'm shooting. Oh, no, take more arrows. Yes, more, more arrows. Uh, pew, there you go, one to the face. Don't worry, sun is coming up. It'll only be a mere moment before they all fall over dead from the, from the cleansing rays of the sun. Wow, there they go, brilliant. And look, our fields are doing fantastically. Just need a bit more of the old uh, growth from the... Oh, come here. Need a bit more growth from the uh, coin manufacturing. So I think what I'm going to do is lay out what's going to be the three wide walls now for the, this part of the base. So I want to make them three wide because that's going to be like quite a nice look, I think. Give them a bit of walking room at the top. Uh, let's go to there for now. Take down these. And uh, once we've done that, we'll sort out the towers. Our three wide wall is done, if you have a look here now. All the way along, looking pretty good. I also have expanded out a kind of overhang here. I want to boost it up a little higher, though. So I'm going to sort that out like this. Actually, I'm going to... Actually, that's going to be the edge. No, that's right. This is going to be the, the edge, that's going to be the walkway, and that's going to be the edge there. Likewise, that's the edge, walkway, and then this part is the jump up part. So come down here, uh, I'll put a little reminder that way and that way. No, take that down. And then, um, shall we just do something like that for defenses? I feel like, yes, we need sort of, hmm, maybe. Do I need one more like that? I, mm, I'm sort of pondering. 
I want to make it so that, okay, that's kind of cool like that. I'll just explore what this will look like now. Uh, no, that seems, I do want to keep it. I want to keep it the same from all angles, three by three. Yep, that looks great. And then along here, what we'll have is just some traditional castle-like uh, fortifications. That one's nicely placed. There's not much point in, in going higher than this with the fortifications. It's going to be for looks only. just to stop me from blundering off the edge. So with that, we're going to want to put down, uh, where are they, a quiver. So we can get some guards and at least one guard. He is going to stand right here, um, and uh, we can recruit a colonist. There we go. So he's going to have a very busy job looking out over that, but that's okay. Now, can I remember the shape of this? What have we got? It is uh, one, two, th one, two, three, four, five. That way. By that way. Okay, great. I can repeat that. Unfortunately, I am out of stone, so I'm just going to have to drop a quiver here and uh, recruit for them. Oh, I need one more bed, don't I? I do have beds already lined up, thanks to my wonderful crafts person. Crafts peasant. Uh, no, not right there. There, there, and there. So we can definitely... Where are I? Where's our banner tool? Uh, recruit another colonist. Great. And should have, well, I should have another stairway along there, but I'm a little short on stone. So I might use some, no, can't use straw. I'll use some planks. Come here, planks. And uh, since we went that way, we will go like this. Uh, something like that. Very nice. Quivers up there. You're sure all on seeds and what have you. How much food have we got going? Whoa. That has a lot. Do we have much in the way of gold coins yet? 69. Hmm. We could do with a little more, to be perfectly frank. You're busy making planks. As you're, you're making gold coins, but not enough of them. Uh, do we have... What could we buy? If I come over here and check out the old shop. Uh, need 200? Need... Alright. we got a... Alright, okay. Uh... That will go with 200. Okay, we just got to wait for those coins to come in. Uh, Mr. Shopkeeper, what are you doing? You're just hanging around waiting? Or is it bedtime? I think it might be bedtime. I think the zombies are going to have a very hard time tonight. Our defenses are nearly perfect. The castle is looking pretty grand, I think. Kind of think that maybe this part could go up a little more. Like, yeah, I might just take that out. I mean, that's... Not necessary now. And it, it definitely looks a little better, a little higher, right? You'll just have to wait for your improved castle, Mr. Corner Person. But don't worry, you're going to have a lot of zombies to fight tonight. And with enough stone, I can definitely heighten things even further, which would be pretty fun. Make some real decent castle walls and possibly a moat. That would be, that would be very nice indeed, wouldn't it? All the peasants are asleep. The guards dutifully watch over the castle. Yeah, let's have a look how we're going up here tonight. The battlements, that side, seem fine. I do. <laughs> this this wall seems a little odd. Let's, let's have a look how it works. It seems to work fine. How are you doing up here, guardsmen? Oh, you're taking out, like, a small horde? That's fine. Shall I give you a hand? Oh, you're already taking them down. <laughs> Boom! And along our beautiful castle walls. This side. Pretty busy as well. Oh, I'm not even going to bother shooting them when I've got decent people around to do the shooting. Bonk. Got him. And to the front. We shouldn't see anyone get in past these two diligent chaps, right? Even if there are lots of you. I'll lend them a hand if need be. I think we're making mint, or we're minting stuff a little a little more slowly than I would like. So I'm going to go put down a uh, fresh mint and recruit someone for it. 
So where should we put it? Alongside the other one? I think we'll give them a little space. Uh, where's my banner tool? Recruit a colonist. Good. That's going to get us more gold. We're almost at 100 gold, which is very nice, but it's... There you go. Good. It's not enough to... Um, let's have a look. It's not enough to really get us the, the materials we want for flax. And flax will get us new resources, which is great. Our dudes are all out of seeds. On the on the plus side, almost all of the fields are now uh, fully populated. And once they are, I will definitely put down another field. But for now, we'll just have to wait. On the, on the plus side here, we have a ton of food, which is brilliant. And I'm very proud of our castle walls. I've gone through in the night and I've stuck lights on each each of the uh, crenellations here. I've got a few more to add, I see. So we'll do a few more just to give it that extra kind of castle -y feel. Feels like it to me anyway. Come here, craftsperson. You should have been making lots of those for us. Excellent. How's that looking? Very cool. Do we have any of these gypsum blocks or plaster blocks? Oh, we do. Don't have any use for them just yet, but I'm pleased that they're being made. In the next episode of this, I think what we'll do is go through and I'm going to grab a ton more stone. We're going to raise these walls high all the way around. Uh, possibly even these little defense towers here. They feel a little short to me, to be perfectly honest. It feels like a zombie could just, you know, rah, jump up here. I know they can't, but it worries me. So I think we'll probably do that and sort that out for the next episode and then continue growing our farms and, and sort of raising a more, oh well, another building in here. I'm thinking perhaps a, a general purpose trades hall at the back, which would free up more room at the front here for um, I don't know, this to be more of a bedroom. Or maybe we'll make this more of a trades hall and leave the back for a bedroom. I don't know. We also need to sort of think about uh, making everything three walls wide and, and producing a bit more of a grand entrance to our castle and, and possibly uh, clearing clearing out a bit of the, the, the ocean to give us a bit more room doing something down there anyway so i hope you'll join me for the next episode i've been tiny pirate do like subscribe comment all of that amazing fun stuff and until next time good night